Hey, so I wanted to go through some of the things that I was doing last week to give you guys a bit of an understanding of what's going through my brain and uh, maybe some tips. This time the tips are specifically for building your landing page. Um, so I have been reading a book, um, or to be honest, two key books have really influenced my landing page. Um, one is called Sell Like Crazy, and one is called Marketing Made Simple. And I'd say both of those books are actually quite painful to read. Um, they are either very dramatic, sort of like hyperbole, um, or like examples which aren't particularly applicable to you. Um, but there are some really key points and really uh, kind of guided ways to think about a landing page. Um, I will say that both of those books focusing on services, not particularly products, but I think they are applicable in the same way. Basically, what the landing page is trying to do is introduce your viewers on to what, what are you trying to achieve? How will their lives be made better by what you are trying to offer them? Um, so I'm going to kind of talk through the design of my page. Um, in the last week, I knew I was going to be putting out the video about what I'm going to be working on. Um, so I wanted to make sure that my landing page was clear, concise, up to date, looks nice, etc. But those things are really kind of hard to quantify. Um, and I was really struggling with that until I started going through these books. Um, there's a key part in the book in Marketing Made Simple where he lays out kind of seven different stages that he suggests should go on to your landing page. And that's pretty much exactly what I followed. So the first is about a header. Um, it should be as simple as a sentence with an image on it um, with a sign up button um, or the, the call to action. Um, the reason is that that is the thing that just gets people started to, to understand what's going on, um, to see what what triggers the imagination, what people will be interested in and encourage them to, to scroll. Um, so very little text, kind of really impactful image um, that is hopefully pretty and shows what your product is about. Now, personally, I hate websites that do this and don't have any reference of how the app looks or works. I think it's really key to showing the UI um, in an image so that people can immediately understand how to interact with it. And that's why I've built every hour to be really simple like that. Um, and that's what then I feel confident about sticking on my homepage. So the header is literally the image of the app with a title about, um, we. I think it's be happier with your time, which is the whole goal of every hour. Um, as you scroll down a bit, there's then a, a more elaboration. There's an introduction into what every hour does. Um, you know, it's a way to record your time um, to help you. Um, as you scroll down a bit more, and, and I'll do so, um, then you have kind of the key points. What is the plan for the users? What are the steps that they'll need to do to be able to achieve what you've claimed in the header? Um, and in every hour, it's the ability to drag, it's the ability to set targets, be able to record notes, all in which will allow you to see and improve your current balance. So I think there's five bullet points they're all essentially pointing to the fact that this is how you will interact with the app to achieve what you want to achieve. I think the section after that, it is, is um, all about getting some sort of social proof. How do the people that view you actually trust you? Um, you, know, you could be selling anything realistically. How do they trust you? And the way that I decided to tackle this was by getting quotes from actual users. Um, so at the time, I think I only had one quote come back, um, but it's from a user basically saying exactly how he felt about the app, that it was simple and it helped him align his life balance, which is exactly what I felt that it does. Um, so it's gratification for me. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm fulfilled for the fact that it's helping him. Um, and it's great to be able to show other people that it's not just me that's, that's saying this. There are other people um, that, are, that are experiencing some benefit. The next one I kind of went left to center. The next bit on the website is all about um, trying it out, understanding how to interact with the UI. Um, so there's a, a try it out banner. Um, and then underneath that um, is then a video. So this, again, is all about getting trust from the people that are viewing this. Specifically, though, it's about showing that you understand 
what their issues are and that you have solved them so you, that you have some sort of authority and you have some ability. And that's what the video is for, really. It's to show um, I did struggle a lot with time management and now I feel much more free. My work-life balance is much better um, and I can empathise with people that have struggled. Here's my system. I believe it should work for you. Um, and that's about it. After that, there's a few other sections. The next section, I think, is purely for search engine optimization. It's uh, essentially a load of text explaining how I felt. Now, they're essentially stories. Um, it's a, a kind of a word form of what I've done in the video, um, just with some more images and data to kind of give some information about it. Um, finally, I did things that were no longer suggested in the book, um, and that was to build the product roadmap, um, which is something I naturally do. There's a lot of things that I want to do with every hour going into the future. Um, and then finally, it's, it's your junk drawer. Um, and that is essentially just all of your other links, anything else that you think should be on that page, but does not warrant an own section in itself. Um, once again, I want to kind of point to those two books that really helped there, um, Make Marketing Simple um, and Sell Like Crazy. Um, both of them are quite good books. Uh, I've kind of written up what I learned from them as well. Um, so I'll share that. But um, yeah, hopefully that gives you some insight into my last week and my preparation going into that week. Um.